Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I kind of wanted to do a bit of a life update and day in the life kind of thing as I haven't posted on a Sunday, well I didn't last week and yeah I just haven't done a vlog style thing in a while so that is what I'm doing. First of all I have a bit of an announcement so really really exciting but me, my brother and sister have started a podcast. I'm really excited about this. It's kind of true crime slash comedy. Me and my sister are obsessed with true crime podcasts and one in particular we really love is called My Favourite Murder and it's true crime. They tell all these murder stories, really horrible stuff but they also talk about, they're just also really open and they make jokes and things like that and it's just we just love it. So we've kind of done that kind of style, but it's me and my brother and sister, and each week we tell a story each. So we're telling three stories in the podcast. So far they've been about an hour and 20 minutes. We've uploaded one and the next episode comes out, well today, it comes out tonight as I'm the same day I'm posting this YouTube video, Sunday. And yeah, I'll just absolutely love it if you guys checked it out. I don't know if it's really your thing, if you're into true crime, but we just tell really interesting stories. It's not just murders, we're doing all types. So we're doing cults, we're doing conspiracy theories, we're doing UFO encounters, um, the dark web, um, survival stories. We're just doing loads of different types, just anything that's interesting but true and is just out there and yeah it's just a really interesting subject and dramatic to excite listeners so as i said we've only done one episode so far it just came out last sunday and the next one is going up today so it's really really exciting i'm going to post the link below obviously we're just starting so the sound isn't amazing it's not professional it's just a bit budgy and we're just kind of getting used to it and just working out how to record and everything like that so just bear with us because hopefully it will get better but yeah i would absolutely love 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 for you guys to check it out because i'm really enjoying doing it it's so much fun chatting with my brother and sister we all get on so well and we're just loving it so yeah i'd absolutely love for you guys to listen to it so thank you so much link is below please check it out that would mean the world to me it's on apple spotify and for people who have androids it's on like the cast box and everything like that so i'll put the links below and hopefully you guys will have a listen so thank you so much for that now it is 12 o'clock i kind of was doing work this morning so i started this a bit later than i was supposed to but i'm gonna have a workout i'm gonna train legs tyler got me a bar which you can't see at the moment, but I'm going to be getting now. Tyler borrowed a bar from the gym he works in for me, which is amazing because I just love training with weights and I'm just so excited to put weight back on my legs again. So I'm going to be doing that. And then I got new prints made that got delivered yesterday from my Etsy shop. So I'm going to show you guys those because I'm really excited with the quality. I think they look really nice. So I'm really, really happy about that. And yeah, kind of see what time it is. My friend's calling me today to tell me the sex of her baby. So I'm really excited about that. And that is... So I cannot wait for that, but I don't know how long I'll be FaceTiming for. And then I'm also doing a Zoom call with someone, with another friend of mine who's teaching me how to do ads and stuff for Vixen. So I've got a few things going on today, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to put in this video. But we'll just go with the flow, see what happens, and hopefully I'll have some interesting content for you guys. So thank you. I'm going to get ready now and get changed. This is the new Vixen jumper, as I did in a vlog a couple weeks ago. I absolutely love it, it's so comfortable. I can't wait to do other colours, but I'm not really sure when I'm gonna do other colours because there's some other um, gym where I wanna be doing, so it's kind of, I'm kind of prioritising that first. So the colours might not come for a while, but it's really comfortable. I absolutely love, 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 love this jumper. Yes, so let's train.
so I've just finished training. I'm gonna have a shower, wash, catch my breath back, might eat something, and then I'm gonna show you my print, but I might be getting my FaceTime call in between that, so I'm just gonna shower and I'll see you back here. I'm out the shower and I've just had my FaceTime call with my friends, so exciting. And now I'm gonna make something to eat. I'm really obsessed with tuna at the moment, so I'm gonna make a tuna pita sandwich because it's my favorite. Now, I used to make tuna with cucumber. Some people, the old classic way is tuna and sweet corn. And then I used to always do tuna cucumber, but Tyler does tuna and onions. And honestly, I cannot explain to you how good tuna and onions is. So that is what I am now having these days. There's something about the onion which just gives it oh, such a beautiful flavour. So if you haven't tried it, I recommend to try it. And I use light mayonnaise. Red onion. Bit of bread. Oh. I like to mix the tuna with the mayonnaise and onions in a bowl first and then put it in the sandwich so it gets proper flavoured and everything's really mixed together rather than just putting it on the sandwich. How is everyone finding this lockdown? I know a lot of people have said they're struggling a lot more with this one. I think because of the weather and it's just been going on for so long it just gets really depressing I just cannot wait for it all to be over I can't even remember a life of living before this you don't want to put too many onions in this by the way because then it just gets a bit too onion flavoured mix it all together together I'm going to put my it around for a little bit longer. I don't know why I'm like demonstrating how to make a tuna pitta like it's some really technical thing but just thought I would rather than just fast forwarding it as I always do thought I'd add a bit more talking into it. Taste test. Mm. Mm. That is so good. Beautiful. These are my pitta, pot pitta pockets. Like this. And then, I just scoop it in. How good is that? So, I'm about to eat my sandwich, but Tyler got me these Corn on cocktail quavers. I don't know if you guys have seen these recently. They've done this and salt and vinegar. Now, quavers are my all-time favourite crisps and prawn on cocktail are my second all-time favourite crisps. So Tyler thought, he saw this and thought, you know, give it a go. I can't imagine it tasting nice. Like, I have no desire to actually try these because I cannot understand the combination of the two. But I'm gonna try it. It smells like skips and I don't like skips. I don't even know what that tastes like. It's like, I think it just tastes a bit like Skips. Yeah, it just kind of tastes like Skips, yeah. Yeah, I suppose it has the, the zang of the prawn and cocktail, but I don't know. It's just, you've put them both together and made them both worse. Quavers are much superior to this. And Porn and Cocktail much superior to this, but it's interesting. If you like skips, you'll like these. I'm gonna try it. Try it. Try it. See you in a bit. So I've just finished eating and I want to show you guys my new prints that arrived yesterday. So So I had sold out of my nude lady print. Um, so I needed to order more and I wanted to get some of my other stuff done in prints as well. So that's what I've done. So the first one, 
I've got my Highland cow. It's so cute with its little ginger hair and horns. I absolutely love it. I love the quality. It's quite a thick paper as well. It's unicorn white chunky paper, 200 to 250 GSM, if that means anything to anyone. So next I've got my movie ones. So my movie ones, I've done quite a lot of movie ones, like my Pulp Fiction and all sorts of like that, but I've just got two of them done. So first is the Pulp Fiction. And it's all A3. I'm so excited how, they, how they've come out because I really wasn't sure how they'd look. But um, I absolutely love them. I think they look so nice. And it's so weird because I painted it on A4 and it's so weird seeing it blown up like this. Like, this is my art. It's so exciting. Yay, this is my art. Like, I painted this like 10 years ago. I'm so excited about it that I've now got it in a print. But yeah, I think the quality is really good. Got the hair. Yeah, I absolutely love that. And then I've got my Django. Here is Django. Da -na -na. Absolutely love Django. I like the way you da I like the way you dare, boy. Django the D is silent. So these ones have a white border, as you can see. Um because so it didn't cut the writing off, but when you put them in the frame you can't see the white border. So if there's a bit of glare. There you can see a bit more. Yeah, again, all A3. And then it's just my new lady, which is my popular print, which is sold out. And yeah, people seem to love this one. So I just got that redone. And now what I've done is a male one as well. And I've done a listing so you can get his and hers. So you can basically buy, this is the male one, the male torso, which I actually did a vlog, did a video, sorry, of me painting this, a time lapse of me painting this. But yes, yeah, so you can get these two as his and hers and frame them, put them together. And I just think that's so nice, his and hers. Like that's, that's pretty cool, isn't it? I like that idea. So yeah, and those are all available on my Etsy page, which I will link, oh, which I will link below. So if you guys are interested in any of those, you can just go and have a look. But yeah, I'm really happy with how they all came out. And now I know that I can trust this company who does the prints and I know they're gonna come out. It means that I can get loads of other prints done now. Just anything I paint, get it in a print version. And yeah, that's everything. So yeah, so now I'm just waiting. I've got like 15 minutes and then I'm gonna do the Zoom call with my friend who's gonna teach me about ads. Um, and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do after it because then it'll probably be about four o'clock so I can't really start painting. I have a few commissions I do need to do but I'll probably just have to think about them tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'll just see what happens after the Zoom call really. Hello. Hey, can you see me? Uh, why? Oh, start video, one sec, yeah, I can see you. I've finished my Zoom call, I'm so tired. I'm just gonna see what Tyler's doing. It's like five o'clock now. Tyler's learning about something. What are you up to? Sweetheart, I've got these glasses, blue light glasses. Tyler loves them. Um, and the volumes of looks very nice in them, suit him very much. Figures, roughly He's learning about percentage compo uh, components for, for each of these composition bodies. Um, they can actually change. What are you learning about? Uh, the heart. The heart. Why are you learning about the heart? Is that it's got red blood cells in it. Um, and red blood I've just switched cameras because that camera is not very good in low light conditions. Um, I'm just going to chill for a little bit because. I feel so shattered. Learning does that to you, doesn't it? Um, and I kind of want to put... Whoa, look at the light on that. Oh my gosh. I kind of want to put what I've learned to use. So I think I'm just going to have a drink, have a little chill for a bit, and then I might start playing around with Facebook ads, see what I can do. And 
do you know what there's actually quite a bit of work i can get on with my laptop so i think i'm going to do that i don't think i'm going to be able to do any art today i'm definitely not going to be doing any art today i might be able to tomorrow i also need to find a story for my podcast on monday night so i don't know if i might do that tonight as well so that tomorrow i can just do art because otherwise tomorrow i'll be having to look for a story and write it all up so the rest of the night is probably just going to be me on my laptop to be honest so not very exciting so on the weekend I like to have a glass of wine but it's a wine spritzer, it's this pre-made can that I actually got to do a giveaway on Instagram. So there's this one flavour, Botanical Spritz Vincrowd, Botanical Spritz. It is honestly so good, it's so fruity and oh, it's just delicious it's got the nicest flavor it's like sweet and I'm, I'm really into my sweet drinks like my favorite wine is moscato i don't like normal white wine rosé red wine oh it's just too bland and dry and whatever it is i don't like it this is so fruity and light and beautiful botanical flavor but i've got a little bit left in that one which i didn't realize so i'm gonna save it because i literally only have one can left and I don't want it to be gone and just there to be none left because I'll be really depressed because I had this crate right I'll show you so this by the way is beautiful it's like um what's it called Bailey's it's like Bailey's but Disarano version it's gorgeous but I'll have that later these are all my crates so that was the botanical one but it's all gone this is a white wine flavor and then that's a rosé so what i'm gonna attempt right now is i've got the white and i'm gonna attempt mixing it mixing it with my apparel that should hopefully taste nice i love apparel so normally you know an apparel spritz is apparel and white wine or what is it apparel and prosecco or wine i can't remember Apparel and Moscato, which is the sweet wine, is like the beautiful, just the most beautiful cocktail spritz that you'll ever have. So let's try and mix these. I don't have my travel with me, so I'm just going to pop you. I mean, that's not the greatest of views. I'm sorry, I don't have my tripod and I can't bother to go and get it. So let me just taste this first because I don't think I've actually tried this flavour. It's actually not bad because it's still a spritzer. I'm going to lift it up. It's actually not bad because it's still a spritzer. It doesn't have the fruity flavour of the other one. But what does it have? Sorry, my hair is such a mess. Um... Peaches, hints of peaches and pears, zesty and refreshing. It's quite nice. It's not as nice as the other one though, so I might still put the apparel in. Let me try again. It's all right though, actually. Oh my gosh, I'm so gutted. I've drunk all the botanicals when I could have been sharing it out between that. Oh, okay. Let's try with the apparel. Shaken, not stirred, and all that jazz. That is delicious. That is so nice. That's my night sorted. So I think I'm going to leave it there. Mm. That is calling me. So I'm going to have that. I'm gonna, I oh know it's only five o'clock, it's Saturday. I'm gonna do my YouTube editing. I'm gonna see if I can start these adverts. I'm gonna find my podcast story. Those are the things I need to do. We'll fit them in, see what works. YouTube is priority because it's going up tomorrow. Anyway, oh my gosh, look how full of life I am. 
happy I am with that apparel. Oh, so good. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And thank you so much. Please, 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 please listen to my podcast if you're interested. I really want people to listen to it because I'm so proud of it. I love it. I find it so fun. Me and my brother and sister just have so much jokes and yeah, I would just love, love it if people would just even just give it a chance, give it a little watch, a little listen, sorry, and see what you think. Again, all the links are below. Thank you again. I've said thank you a million times and I will hopefully see you on the next video. Bye.